we received a, a, a feedback from a Zen monk yeah. in Japan. You know, he says, I've used many bots, but your noble very caring. Ah. How do you train it? The other bots don't have this sort of care. Yeah, which is the base of Buddhism. Exactly. Wisdom and compassion. <laughs> yeah. We discovered by chance also. Oh. Because we started training using. So what we do is that we tell the the, the bot uh, yeah. to say that uh, uh, go direct, answer directly. Do not give too much, yes. uh, you know, long yes. explanation. Yeah. Go to the point. Mm. Explain in simple language. Right. That's number one. Number two, we found out that um, we give a very specific instruction that I don't think anybody gave. We told the bot we give a very specific instruction. One of the top three instruction. Please answer using the four Brahma Vihara, ah, wherever you can. Right. In all your answers, in all your conversations, conversation, please apply yes, four Brahma me. Vihara. You, you Metta, covered, Karuna, yeah. you know, Metta, Karuna, Upeka, uh, Mudita. Mudita. Guaranteed. That is why the board oh. never gets angry, right. unlimited patience. Yeah. And humor in that Everything, level, yeah. you'll have no problem. We received a, a, a feedback from a Zen monk. Yeah in Japan, you know, he says, I've used many bots, but your noble are very caring. Ah. How do you train it? The other bots don't have this sort of care. Yeah, which is the base of Buddhism. Exactly. Wisdom and compassion. <laughs> yeah. We discovered by chance also, oh. because we started training using the four Brahma Vihara. Buddha discovered it first. Exactly. That's exactly what he... He said compassion. Based. His base was compassion. So for you move with compassion, yes. right? Yeah. Not with knowledge. Mm. Because you drown people with knowledge. Yeah. We move compassion to find the level of where the person is able to receive Then the, the understanding exactly. with that compassion. Exactly. Okay. okay. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. Jaya, let's go to about uh, using Nobu as a tool to prepare Dharma study. Okay, maybe mm. for you yeah. also to right. use for your right. preparing to give right. talk. Okay. What are the suggestions that, you know? I would say we <coughs> have a lot of material that we can fall back on. Over the last hundred years, <coughs> the early missionary monks, uh, in this case, I'm talking about the Sri Lankans, um, who went to the West bringing Buddhism, yeah, uh, they had this problem of bringing down that vast amount of material to bite size mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it was a two-way traffic one was from Sri Lanka to uh, England and from England to Sri Lanka then there were of course the Europeans were involved as well uh, but all of them had this uh, this challenge of how to reduce the vast amount of knowledge to bite size among them was venerable narada who wrote the buddha and his teachings that buddha and his teaching was able to bring down into one book the basic teachings of the buddha which then was a springboard from which people like you and all could study buddhism more it was systematized and it was in english and it was in re readable english okay so we can use that same method in fact we can use those materials uh, i while venerable narada's books were systematized as uh, the traditional teaching venerable uh, dhammananda on the other hand made a practical <coughs> approach what buddhists believe right and by hitting that, that i would think that nobu would do well to look at what the venerable narada uh, dhammananda did mm. with the buddha uh, what buddhists believe mm. these were in those days problems that affected the human being yes uh, young people had problems. They didn't know where to turn. They didn't want to turn to the God religions. Right? And Chief Reverend, instead of going into too many 
uh, uh, details yeah or relying too much on the texts he used personal experiences mm. marriage mm. anger <coughs> hatred all the war these kind of things so your to answer your question what we could do is to use the material we already have which was developed over the last 100 years by those scholar monks uh, coming into venerable bhikkhu bodhi and so on very high level use that and then i think we already have our homework done for us we don't need to reinvent yeah the late chief venerable's book was one of the first to be used for training the nobu yeah. Oh, what Buddhist belief absolutely. was one of the first to Yeah, because, because it yeah. became so successful <clears throat> because it hit the nerves. Mm -hmm. you know, and everybody was able to read it. Little, uh, it wasn't <coughs> in depth. You can take it, throw it away, come back to it. It was very bite-sized. Mm. And that's, I think, what we should do. What we should avoid is too much. There is a place for it. There is a place for sustained... Buddhist dialogue, mm -hmm. uh, the Bhikkhu Bodhis, the what uh, Stephen Batchelor, these are for higher level, very useful, very necessary because otherwise we we adulterated, will be too uh, everything is so soft. It isn't the, the 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 teaching of the Buddha has to be preserved in its purity and its complexity on the one hand. But to sustain that complexity, you need a simplicity yeah, of these groundwork monks. But we, we notice one thing. Uh, people around here in the world, because when we started Nobu, January Malaysians were using it. You know? Yes. We found, we found, discover a very weak, weak tendency. They are very poor in asking questions. Good questions. Yeah, right. If you don't Shallow. ask, Oh, very shallow questions and if we don't ask good questions, the board will give you poor answers. You Can't the board uh, cajole or draw that simple answer to a more complex? That's, that's what we did uh, later on. Uh, mm. You know, we found that if uh, uh, we train the board to ask counter questions. Ah, is and it? lead him up. Yeah. Initially, no, mm. because we, 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 we just put in things, you know, uh, it's just training a kid, yeah. la, you know. We, we cannot think of so many complexities, right? Yeah, yeah. Only recently we started to go into that. But mm. by and large, we found the tendency of asking very poor questions. And that is why I think when we uh, the spirit of the Nalanda tradition that, that spurred us to do this project uh, mm. was to the, get people to ask the good debate. questions. The debate. Ask good questions <laughs> and get the board to get, get back to you, you know, yeah. and challenge you. Yeah. You see the debate kind yeah. of, uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. you know, a challenge. <coughs> so, so um, that was a, that was some challenge, lah. We found that it's not easy to change people's mind. Right? Yes, you know, one thing good about Narada's book, example, uh, very structured. Yeah, very uh, uh they call it linear, very yeah. linear. Yeah, four is four noble truth. What is the five precept? Yes. What is the noble eightfold path? Yeah. Very linear. Yeah, <laughs> you know, very that's how we, that's how we yes. learn, you know. Yeah. Okay. And karma. Uh, karma. Very, very, very nicely siloed. Okay. Nice to start with. Correct. But after what people got stuck with that. They don't know how to relate this to that. Yeah. You see, then they, they say, I've been learning Buddhism for 20 years. And the problem is when you give a go to a talk, let's say the Four Noble Truth, the monks will repeat what the book said right. in, in right. that way. Right. And, and nobody asks any question towards the end of the talk. Yeah. Any question, nobody put up their hand and yeah. ask questions. Yeah. yeah. So I noticed that the Tibetan Buddhists yes. get more trained yes. in asking oh, very intelligent yes. questions. Yes. And we need to learn from them yeah. and bring it into our traditions. Correct. So that's why when we started Nobu uh, and inspired by the Nalanda tradition, yeah. we say, how do we bring this, yeah. uh, uh, this uh, culture of mm. asking good questions, yes. of asking questions, uh, yes. don't even ask any good questions. Yeah. Deep questions that, that you, you are very curious to know the answer, you know, yeah. the, kind of, the kind of level, you know. Right. So um, we we track some some people from beginning, but then we see that okay, very linear, very uh -huh. boring. Uh -huh. Towards the end, they start to ask more complicated questions because the the noble halfway down the line, uh, they're able to connect. Mm. You know, then they see the connection. They say, hey, "Yeah, one never thought of that." Mm. Example one example was uh, uh, 
where is samsara and where is nibbana the question mm. was like that you know the nobu said it's where you sit 